This has to be the smallest electric fan ever. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, I'm Stella and I love making miniatures for my Barbie's dollhouse using Melly cardstock. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this miniature table fan for your dolls. And as always, I have a free printable template to help you make your own version. You'll find all the infos and the download link in the video, so now, let's get started. Cut this part of the template twice, and stack the layers together like this. As usual, I suggest using cardstock from old packagings. To make a power cable for our little fan, we can use elastic thread, like I showed you in my miniature iron tutorial, twine or cotton thread, or even a real cable like this one. Glue it into this groove into the cardstock base, then cut this part about 3 times and attach all the layers on top of the previous piece. Next, cut this and glue the two pieces over the rest of the fan's base. Lastly, cut this twice and attach the two layers over the previous one. Now cut this part three or four times and stack all the elements together. Repeat the same step for these parts, and they might look identical, but pay attention because one is slightly longer than the other. You should end up with these three elements, all approximately 2mm thick. Now cut this part, and if you're using my free printable template, I advise you pierce these little holes with an awl. Connect this part to the three pieces we just prepared this way. Then cut these two tiny strips, and I recommend using a lightweight type of cardstock for this. Glue them to the top of the piece we've just assembled, and you should end up with this. Connect these two parts together this way. Cover the finished piece with acrylic gesso, this will make the surface appear more even. Then coat it with a clear varnish. I used UV resin, but clear oil polish will work too. And as usual, you can find a short list of the supplies I used for this project in the description. Now cut these teeny tiny circles and glue them into the holes on the fan's base. Next, cut this part and attach the two sides to one another. The resulting piece should fit perfectly into these groove on the fan's stand. Then cut this 3 or 4 times and glue the layers together. Attach this part to the one we just assembled, like this. Now cut this part a handful of times and attach all the elements in a group of 4 or 5 layers each. In the end, you should have 4 identical pieces, all approximately 2mm thick. Cut this rectangle into lightweight cardstock and press it against a wet sponge. This will make the cardstock softer and easier to bend. Glue it around the 4 pieces we prepared earlier, this way. Now take a paper clip or a piece of metal wire, cut it in a length of 4 cm and slide it into this hole. Next, cut all these circles and glue them together from the biggest to the smallest. Attach the resulting piece to the part we assembled before, then cover it with this part cut into lightweight cardstock. And just a reminder, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, you can use my digital templates, which you can find in my shop, linked in the description box. Cut this strip into copy paper and glue it around one end of the metal wire, this way. Then, top off the side with this little circle. At this point, we should have these two parts. Attach them together like this. Then cover the finished piece with acrylic gesso and a glass varnish. To assemble the top to the base, we're going to need a flat head pin or a sewing pin. Insert it into the hole in the fence stand and cut away the part in excess. To make the blade guard, cut this part into lightweight cardstock and bend all these bars like this. Then cut this circle and glue it to the bars, this way. Finally bend the end of each bar at a 90 degree angle and attach the resulting piece to the rest of the fence structure. Now cut this 3 or 4 times, glue layers together, then paint and varnish them before attaching them to the fan. To make the blades of our miniature table fan, cut this part. Press it against a wet sponge, and then use a big dotting tool or a marble to give the blades a curved shape. Cut this circle twice, attach the two sides together, and glue the resulting piece to the back of the blades. 
Then cut this. Attach the three parts together and glue them to the front of the blades. Paint and varnish the final piece. Then glue it to the metal wire this way. Next, cut this part and just like we did earlier, bend all the bars. Glue them to this circle. And finally, bend the tips like this. Cut this part and attach it to the rest. Then cut this strip and roll it between your fingers to give it a rounded shape. Attach the two ends of the strip to create a sort of ring. Then glue it around the guard this way. Finally attach the front of the guard to its back. And our miniature table fan is ready! As promised, here's the link to the free printable template. And in case this fan isn't enough to keep your doll school, you may want to try this project next. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!